I'm Laura Smalls, and this is how I made it. I discovered my love for fashion as far back as um, around nine years old. Uh, I remember um, eagerly waiting to see the New York Times that my parents had, and I would flip to the fashion section and um, you know just eagerly look at all of the fashion illustrations that were um, the advertisements, and that's when I remember that I had that passion and love for beauty and fashion. Well, my father was in the entertainment business. He had review shows at the Apollo. Um, it was called Dr. Tommy Jive's um, Review. review. Um, and so his clothes, he would have the silk shark skin suits. He would have blue velour suits. I used to just go in his closet and look at the fabrics. So all of that, I. I, I think played into uh, my love for fashion very much so. Well, I chose to um, not go to high school in Queens where I grew up. Um, I traveled uh, and went to High School of Art and Design on 57th Street in Midtown Manhattan. And um, so they put you through the rigors of taking fashion design, taking photography, um, taking all of the arts and then I realized I love fashion illustration and I also loved fashion design. So that's when I sort of honed in that that's what I want to do, you know, with my life. Uh, my first official job in fashion came um, about <clears throat> five months after I graduated Parsons. Um, it was a little disconcerting because I watched as most of my classmates um, were able to obtain jobs right away and I was going on multiple interviews, but it was a different time in the industry back then, and I don't think, you know, it was so easy for young black designers to get jobs in the fashion industry. I think that experience, or being told something like that, really um, added to my psyche of what I have to do. I, I am very determined. Soon after, I was able to get an assistance position at um, um, an outerwear firm. And um, they, um, I was an assistant designer, and the designer um, gave me freedom, or, um, you know, she saw that I was talented enough to give her some ideas, but it really helped me in, in terms of learning my crafts. And then I eventually became the designer. And uh, I was a designer for Jones New York Outerwear, um, a design director for London Fog Kids. Um, and um, Jones, I can say that I love seeing women because it's, you know, clothing the masses. I can be in a block and see four women with my designs on. I don't ever, rarely do I say something unless someone looks outstanding, you know, but I enjoy that. I really enjoy um, seeing my designs on so many women. I happen to um, have reacquainted with Andre Leon Talley through a friend, and um, he took a look at all of my sketches and he said, I think you need to go on the fashion calendar, which was a huge deal. And I was like, what? And he's like, yes, I think you should. My, my hope and dream is to really have a major label um, and see more of my designs um, on more and more women um, and to build a, a brand and um, have my aesthetic you know, realized and maybe extend into other products as well. Um, success is relative. Um, I am still uh, trying and striving to make it my business the, the success I want it to be. Um, it's difficult. I mean, it really is, especially in the fashion industry. I can say any business is difficult, but um, making it in fashion is difficult but um, I have a love and a passion for it, and so I'm determined to keep going.